evil sexist plot against women by men who like to kill whores in Grand Theft Auto V and then take their money. <gasps> okay, I apologize for the noise. I have fans going and I'm sp obviously I'm spraying water on myself. Similar to a good way to keep cool in the car is to have a spray bottle with you so you can have the windows down, you're on the freeway, and the wind will keep you cool if you don't have air conditioning. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to cost this household a bunch more electricity if I can help it. There is an, a, there is an air conditioning unit, but I'd rather not, I'd rather not be uh, using it. So, anyway, um, I agree with what was just said in this clip. It is ridiculous how Anita has shoved forth this narrative that somehow if someone plays a game that people do nasty things in it, people do reprehensible things in it, if you were, they were to do that in real life, that it's going to encourage them to do that in real life. And that's been proven wrong over and over and over and over again. And in the past, there have been a number of, of very religious people who are just so upset with this stuff that these games shove forth, and they push forth the same bullshit message. Uh, you know? Games that do this, I mean... <sighs> these games would actually... They, they can reduce the likeliness of people doing those things in real life because they're able to get this out of their system if it was something they were ever just fleetingly thinking about. Now, if you're saying, oh, they shouldn't think about that, well, then you're, you're pushing forth the same bullshit that religion pushes forth, that to even think something sinful is a sin, you know, and, and that's a crock of shit. You know, the Grand Theft Auto games are designed to do reprehensible things in them. That's the point of them. And to make it sound like it's specifically targeting women, I mean, what a crock of shit, you know? The charge of misogyny is its an excellent, very effective silencing tactic. It can be a good silencing tactic, but it can also be a valid statement. Just like someone calling someone a bigot or a racist. You know, sometimes it's actually valid. Sometimes it's not, but sometimes it is. Amish candy bars. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you feel like making a quilt. Women like Gail Dines and Anita Sarkeesian are against freedom of speech, and I believe that they would want to see censorship and, and just look at her followers. I've been wrong before about Thunderfoot and his followers, and expecting him to somehow police the statements of his followers or to state that, oh, I disagree with you on this. You know, the video I made uh, just recently about the things that are destroying YouTube, you know, about people not being able to control their own channel, um, yeah, I mean, we can't expect people that are very popular to sit there and, I mean, how can you, how can you tell the difference between what is just trolling, what is just people just being nasty for the sake of being nasty, or people being serious? It's difficult. Same thing goes on with Gamergate. The same thing goes on with anti-Gamergate. So, we can't expect it to be any different when it comes to feminists. So, you know, um... So, yeah, a lot of Anita Sarkeesian's followers are pretty rabid. Um... Or at least the people who claim that they follow her. And, and you know, a lot of these people that are <laughs> that are doing this, I'm sorry to, to be somewhat ageist here, but, you know, there's a lot of her followers that are very young, they don't know shit about life, they don't know shit about the laws, they just see, oh, well, this looks wrong, I'm going to state such, you know? And some of them would support censorship, true censorship, but <laughs> Anita not letting people uh, comment on her videos, you know, that's part of that same thing that I was talking about in my video about people not being able to really control their channel. That's really the only option some people have. If they want to be able to make videos and they don't, and, you know, I mean, there's no chance they're going to be able to just talk with the people who really want a real conversation. So what do they have to do left? Well, 
well, disable comments. Especially when they know that it's going to be something rather volatile. They'd rather disable comments from the, in the beginning than to allow the comments and then disable them and then all the people that were trying to have a real conversation are suddenly silenced. That would be more censorship. So. When she's wrong about video games, she just closes comments and says, I'm right. Well, as I just said, someone closing the comment section isn't necessarily saying that, well, I'm right and no one has the right to disagree with me. That's not really it. Uh, it's just, how can she tell the difference between trolling, people that are just being nasty, and people that want a real discussion? It's a difficult thing. And it sucks. And a lot of the people that are trying to shove forth uh, uh, people to ask questions about these sorts of subjects and to look at some of these this stuff, I mean... Unless they want to be really ridiculed and called names and a lot of ad homs and all that stuff, I mean, unless they have the uh, social, uh, what's the right word? Uh, 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 I'm thinking of like in gaming, like constitution, their, their uh, uh, hit points, you know? Unless they have a really huge, ridiculous amount of hit points, uh, they're most people aren't going to be willing to, to put up with that kind of thing. And to make it sound like, uh, well, it, you know, if they wouldn't say outrageous stuff, well, you know, how many things that are on YouTube that people, where people are saying outrageous stuff? It's all over the place. Esoteric subjects. And there are some people that are, you know, they want to say something, but they don't know I mean, some of it is these people don't know how to defend their position. They want to state something and they don't know how to defend it. And that definitely comes into place. That's definitely, and I'd say that's the case with a number of the points that Anita tries to make. But she has so much hate towards her, there's no way that, that, that she's going to be, I mean, if she opens up just about any avenue to have some any sort of discussion, it's going to be abused. And she's not going to be able to have a discussion. So, you know. <laughs> it's always, uh, always about money and ideology. I think money first, ideology a close second. Okay, name me a YouTuber that has more than 100,000 subscribers who doesn't ask you to donate to their Patreon and doesn't uh, have their videos monetized. Go ahead, name them off. Oftentimes the issue is that the journalist has an issue that they want to propagate. Right. They, and rather, and what they do is they go out and they find. And this is different than other types of journalism. How? And I find him genuinely disturbing. He is a frightening man. Who? And suddenly I think of the song "Who Are You" by The Who. She's kind of a hypocrite in that she's a feminist, but she's claiming. I think you can see in some of her emphases that she should be treated a little special. Context? If she's discredited, I think they believe that feminism itself will be discredited. I'll ask again in this video, where can she set up a way to have a discussion with people that it's not going to get abused? With people that are just trolling and just saying hateful comments. Well, that's not abuse, but to the person that, that you're saying this to, how do they tell the difference between bullying, abuse, this trolling, and just people hating on her, and then the people that actually want to have a discussion? How? How, are, how is she supposed to tell the difference? Just magically? Just, just wave some magic wand and she's going to know who's actually wanting to have a real discussion? It is the princess and the peace in her. What's the word? Microaggressions? Yes. Thanks. Do microaggressions exist in sub-Saharan Africa? An English or an African swallow. We're going to take a look at the address that's listed on the feminist frequency tax returns. Let's see what it says. Hey, it's my favorite Mexican restaurant. 